Hey everyone, it's Keegan here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. We have a lot of students that come here each month and there are several things that it seems like a lot of people don't understand or haven't practiced before coming here to the Kentucky Welding Institute. Now we understand that you sometimes aren't able to weld or practice certain things before coming to the Kentucky Welding Institute because we can train somebody with zero welding experience to be a combo pipe welder. But I'm gonna list three things that if you have the ability to practice and work on before coming to the Kentucky Welding Institute. The first thing, if you have the ability to, if you're in high school or have a welder at your house, is practice structural welding, plate welding. Before coming to the Kentucky Welding Institute, that is something that is extremely important to understand because when you come to KWI, we make sure that all of our students can plate weld with stick, TIG, MIG, and flux, okay? When you're learning how to weld, the basics are the most important thing. And that's kind of cliche to say, but understanding how to plate weld will prepare you to pipe weld. So if we take a piece of pipe, cut it down the center, and open it up, it's just a piece of plate. So we see it a lot of times, students come in and they don't have a good understanding of plate welding. So when they come here to KWI to a pipe welding school, they spend a lot of time learning plate, which is okay if they have zero background or opportunity to learn plate before coming to KWI. But if you have a high school senior welding class or you have a welding machine at your house, practice plate welding with stick, TIG, MIG, and flux if you have the ability to. Something is better than nothing. So get good at welding flat, get good at welding horizontal, vertical, and overhead with different processes in different positions. And that will help you whenever you come here to KWI, you can breeze through the plate. Now I'm, now I'm not saying you'll have an easy time through plate, but it will make the process a whole lot easier if you understand what you're doing and you kind of have a rhythm of how to weld plate. The second thing that's super important before coming here to the Kentucky Welding Institute is possibly getting familiar with some of the tools in the industry. So like a chipping hammer, a wire brush, a grinder. We see it a lot of times students come here and they don't understand how to use a grinder. Several times people cut the grinder cord in half. So if you have a grinder at your house or you have access to a grinder and some welding tools get familiar with them and if you have the ability to weld on your own time at high school or at your house start welding and using some of the tools in the industry if you have access to them there's also tons of videos on YouTube and different resources on how to use a grinder and how to work it again if you do not have access to these things we can teach you here but it's just something that we see a lot of the time is people are not for sure how to use a grinder and number three Three, lastly but not least is having a strong mental capacity to break through struggles and barriers. What I mean is a lot of people think they're going to come to the Kentucky Welding Institute and breeze through it. It's going to be easy. They'll smoke through it. No problem. No issues. And that's really what I thought when I came to KWI as well. I thought, you know, I welded a bunch in high school. I did a lot of plate in high school. I did a lot of pipe welding in high school. This KWI experience is going to be easy. But let me tell you, it was smooth up until I got to vertical pipe welding, which is 5G stick welding. And I spent about two weeks struggling on that. And during that two weeks, I didn't even know if I was cut out to be a welder. That's the mental struggle that welding plays a part on you when you're learning how to weld and when you're going over something tricky when welding, is you have to be able to break through that hump. Everybody, doesn't matter how good you are, when you come to the Kentucky Welding Institute, has a point in time here where you struggle we call that the hump and you have to have the mental ability to break through that hump and work through the problems learn it and get past it okay for me it was 6010 open root uphill pipe 5g for some people it is plate welding open root overhead for another person it may be schedule 10 stainless tig so whatever your struggle may be when you come here to the Kentucky Welding Institute, you have to get past it. So before coming here, if you have problems in life or if you're in welding school, in high school, and you're working hard on something and you, you start to struggle, don't skip it and don't go around it. Try to work through it and learn how to fix the problem. Because when you come here to KWI, you're not gonna be able to move on unless you master that skill. So getting used to getting to a roadblock, working through it, 
learning it and moving past it will help you out so much before you come here to KWI. Don't think the KWI experience is gonna be smooth and easy and you'll breeze through it. Make sure that you understand that you will hit roadblocks and you will have to work through them. Hopefully these three tips are something that you can focus on before your journey to the Kentucky Welding Institute and learning how to weld pipe for your future. Thanks for watching and if you want to find out more information about the Kentucky Welding Institute, check out our website. It is kwi.us and for more information, go to our Facebook and social media pages where we post daily updates, live videos from the shop. You can get a hold of me on there and you can send us some messages on our website as well. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.